ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. You gotta put, it, you gotta yeah. put it on something though, right? No, it's the app. So it's in the cloud, bro. Yeah, but what if you lose the what the cloud no. loses? No, the That's cloud's not. Now, you're ta now Angel's old, bro. You're old. What if the cloud gets lost? What the fuck? <laughs> Did you really there, say you the cloud? What if we lose know. the cloud? What if it crashes? <laughs> hey, Andy. Who, someone erases the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, who you got? Tyson Fury, Wilder. Deontay Wilder, bro. Why do you like his mindset? Cause he's 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 confident in his abilities. He's fucking gone hella far when nobody believed in him. And you know, he's he's motivated and focused, bro, and he's always giving back. That's something a lot of people don't know. He's always giving back. Just today they posted that he went out and thanked all the firemen that have been saving their lives in the fires. He went out there and gave him a bunch of tickets to go to his fight. So there's like a lot of little things. He's hella humble. He's confident, he's cocky because he trains hard, but He's a humble ass dude. Like I, like I like that fool. I've been listening to a lot of his speeches over uh, Sirius XM. He's been uh, on the air with LL Cool J, and a lot of things he says are the way he thinks, and you know, a lot of it has to do with faith and, and believing things happen for a reason. And, and Deontay Wilder is just a a motivated, motivated fighter, and the way he talks and the way he believes in himself. And I feel like. No matter what happens Saturday, he's gonna get through that. He's gonna figure something out. Um, a lot of fight I like to look back at is when he fought Luis Ortiz out on his feet and the champ came back. Unbelievable fight. Um, probably one of the biggest fights of his career. And um, I know Tyson Fury's confident. I know he comes from a boxing family. He talks the talk, he walks the walk. He's beat fighters like Klitschko. Um, but I just don't see him getting past Deontay's mindset into taking him into deep rounds and seeing who really has it. I feel Deontay's a more well-rounded fighter and his awkwardness is something that no one's been able to, to beat at this point. Yeah, I think the other thing that I think about Wilder too is people make fun of his resume, but for about two years no one would fight him until Ortiz pretty much. People yeah. kind of avoided Deontay. Yeah, people avoided Deontay, and there's a reason why Anthony Joshua doesn't want to fight him. You know, I mean, his awkwardness is something I wouldn't even want to fight. Uh, he's just, he's just an awkward, awkward fighter, but has power, tremendous power to knock you out. So, yeah, I'll be rooting for him big time. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like Tyson Fury, I like the, his confidence, the way he talks, but um, I, I just like Deontay's mindset and where he came from, how he came up. Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, who wins? Fury's gonna box his ears off. Why do you say that? Because he can move, and once you hit Deontay Wilder, he loses his mind like he ain't never been in a fight. Starts getting all jumpy and slappy, and Fury's gonna box him. Step around. Get out of the way of that big right hand and box his ears off. You think he just has too much skill to get hit with that one shot? Maybe. He might. We'll see. I mean, I thought that before and Deontay hits him and it's over. So, we'll see. You know what I mean? I'm more upset that Chavez Jr. pulled out. I am too, man. My man Angulo was going to get on his helmet. Oh, man. And when you get two older guys that lost a little skill, and those are both two come get you guys anyway, it couldn't have been nothing but a good fight. Yeah, Angulo was going to be on his helmet. I thought Angulo was going to stop him. Oh, yeah. Angulo would get him just because he's better, always was better. But Chavez is a little bigger, a little longer. Maybe working with daddy, he got better. Who knows? Alright, Tino. Who you got, Wilder or Fury? I got Wilder. Why? 
too strong, younger, actually takes his sport, you know, a little more seriously. What's the best fight in boxing right now? Me versus everybody. <laughs> What's up with you? What do you got going? Trying to get a fight. Trying to talk to my dad and see what's going on with Golden Boy. Who do you got? Who do you got? Who Tyson. do I got winning the Tyson. fight? Yeah, get, this is a big one. Deontay Wilder or uh, Tyson Fury? Yep. I'm going uh, uh, Deontay Wilder. He's gonna defend and hold his title. Why That's do you what like? Thinking. What makes you think that in this um, fight? He's more fit. Uh, he's younger. He's more confident. Um, you know, and he's an excellent fighter. Okay. Do you, which fighter do you prefer to watch? Like, which one's the more entertaining fighter? Um. Out of those two, personally? Yeah. Personally, I would also say Deontay Wilder. Wilder or Fury? Wilder, sir. Why? Better fighter. <laughs> well, most people actually think the other way, I think. Most really? people think that Fury's the better boxer. I'm in the minority. <laughs> You're in the minority on this one. What do you see? I see Wilder being too quick for him. Too strong, too quick. Catch him with the right hand about the eighth round. That's a good one. You're just as big as both of them. What do you think, Wilder or Fury? <laughs> How, wait. <laughs> How tall are you? Six nine. Okay, so you're taller than him. I think Fury might be. But see, Fury's about like a hundred pounds bigger than you. He's like he gets up to about three hundred. But what do you think? Being a big guy, looking at these guys, a guy that you. You might look at him and think, "I want to fight these guys." What do you think of him? I don't know. I haven't seen the, uh, I haven't seen him fight, so I have no idea. 